In a matter of hours, Joe Biden will accept the Democratic nomination for president at the Democratic convention. But his running mate, Kamala Harris, is making headlines of her own. Harris is the first woman of color to be running for vice president. And as Tan Trung reports, many women from different walks of life are closely watching her campaign. When Kamala Harris officially became a vice presidential candidate, some women of color saw it as a call to action. It's going to make us work harder. It challenges us and see that we can make it up there. Donna Ankar says to see Harris on this year's ticket is inspiring. I love it to see that a lady with color come in. And she's not only a lady with color because she got other background behind her. During her acceptance speech, Harris explained how her mother taught her to embrace the diversity in her background. She raised us to be proud, strong black women. And she raised us to know and be proud of our Indian heritage. It's a heritage Rajender Panu shares. She came from Punjab in India in 1985 and has several subway restaurants in the metro area. To reach that point, Panu said she had to overcome discrimination. You know, abuses like go back to the country you came from and things like that. And sometimes I remember I was even told, oh, you're taking our jobs and things like that. No, we are not taking anybody's job. We work. The South Asian population in the greater New Orleans area is small, only about 1,500. In the U.S., it's about 5.5 million. That's only one and a half percent of the entire population. We work very hard to be where we are today. And all I can say is don't give up. Geraldine Ferraro and Sarah Palin have run for vice president before. But in Kamala Harris, women like Panu and Ankar see a different level of representation. The and they certainly Not hope Harris's free. campaign will achieve a different level of success. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. And you can watch CBS's coverage of the DNC at 9 o'clock tonight here on Channel 4.